Hello everybody and welcome to the Inspiro Freak private coaching recordings for your listening pleasure. I am Jana de Toy and I will be your coach for these recordings. This is episode number 12. So today I just really wanted to talk to you about implementing a gratitude journal. So what is a gratitude journal? A gratitude journal is just something that you use to write in a notebook or anything like that, an app that you use to record stuff you're grateful for. Okay. Um, a quote by Tony, Tony Robbins says, you can't feel fear or anger while you're busy feeling gratitude at the same time. So it's important for us to implement that the gratitude journal so that we can eradicate stuff, feelings like fear and anger, because we, when we feel gratitude, we can't feel fear. We can't feel anger. So practicing gratitude impacts our emotions and our emotional health. A regular attitude of gratitude can make us happier. It makes us feel more positive about our lives. A high level of gratitude has a strong positive impact on our psychological well-being. And it helps us cope with depressed thoughts. Okay. Gratitude actually reduces stuff like envy, it facilitates positive emotions, and it makes us more resilient. Gratitude actually makes us satisfied with our lives and increases our self-esteem because it makes you feel better about your circumstances. It makes you feel better about yourself because now you're focusing on the positive. Gratitude can help to protect our minds when we are at our weak points, um, like during phases of depression and through suicidal thoughts and helping us to cope through stressful situations because we we need to stop and think what am i grateful for instead of thinking about everything that i have not start thinking about everything i have okay, gratitude can also lower your blood pressure it helps you improve your sleep and it improves your overall physical health because uh, cortisol is a stress hormone. If, if your body releases too much cortisol, it's bad for your health. So gratitude, um, living a life of gratitude can actually help you improve your physical health. So all of these positive effects are particularly evident in the practice of gratitude journaling. So not just saying out loud what I'm grateful for, but actually writing it down, journaling it. It only takes a few minutes a day, um, but it can give you a lasting mood boost that that can take you from feeling okay to feeling great on a more regular basis. A gratitude journal is a tool to keep track of the good things that are happening in your life. So how do we do this? This means you're simply going to write down or type the things that you're actually grateful for on a daily basis. You can use a journal, you can use a diary, uh, you can use a notebook, and you can even download a gratitude app. Or you can use a simple Word or a Google document. Okay. Um, how, how, how should you do this? Plan to write in your gratitude journal every night for 15 minutes before bed, or put it, uh, put it like, like on your bedside or in your drawer at work, somewhere where you can see it regularly where it's going to remind you of writing um, in your gratitude journal you can also set an alarm a reminder on your phone so um but i want you to schedule it for a specific time in your calendar so that you um, make a habit of this gratitude journal keep a gratitude journal like i said where you can see it so it's going to remind you of doing it and i just want you to daily write down five things that you're grateful for and it can be big things it can be small things um, you can be grateful for big things as well as the small things in your life um, you could also do something like 100 days of thankful that's what i've done on my uh, facebook profile hashtag 100 days of thankful um, and then just basically go on social media make a video about what you're grateful for on that day and if you're finished with 100 days of thankful, it's, it's great for visibility purposes for those of you that's got a business. Um, it's great for people to get to know you. It's great for you to practice being live. Um, so that's amazing. And then um, after you've done with that, follow up with your regular gratitude journaling. And just ask yourself every morning, 
what am I grateful for today? What has happened or every afternoon? What happened today that I can be grateful for? And um, for me, it's been very therapeutic because I can go back in my gratitude journal and see the things that I've been grateful for. You know, if, I've, if I'm feeling depressed or feeling down or feeling like all my efforts are coming to nothing or any other destructive or negative toxic thoughts, then I go back into my gratitude journal and I can see how good my life is actually, what I can be grateful for. And it changes my mood. It actually, it gives me that boost. It makes me feel better. And I try not to say the same things all the time. So I'm not saying I'm grateful for the Lord's provision today or I'm grateful for my business. I'm trying to um, put new things in there every time. And it, it, it creates a record of the things that you've been blessed with. And it changes your perspective of, um, of life. I think from seeing the glass half empty to seeing the glass half full. Um, someone jokingly said, actually seeing the glass as refillable. <laughs> so yeah. I truly encourage you to do that gratitude journaling. It's been amazingly helpful for myself. Um, I did categorize myself as a pessimistic person before I started with my gratitude journaling. And it just shifted my perspective from dark to light, from, from being pessimistic about everything that's happening in my life to fully appreciating what actually what I have got going for myself. So I hope it blesses you the way it has been blessing me and that you will make this a regular practice in your life. Um, okay, my friends, I hope this has been helpful for you and I wish you a lovely day until the next episode. Goodbye.